Welcome to Oncology Podcast News. I'm your host, Ellen Baker. On this edition, simultaneous surgery and colorectal cancer, obesity at the time of prostate cancer diagnosis, and new links found between wine, fermented foods, and cancer. Researchers from Duke University Medical Center have found that in some newly diagnosed colorectal cancer patients whose cancer has spread to the liver, a single procedure involving simultaneous removal of the tumors from the colon or rectum and from the liver may be a better choice than two separate procedures. Colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer in both men and women in the United States, and it is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. In about one-third of patients newly diagnosed with colorectal cancer, the cancer has already spread to the liver, and the standard approach in many of these cases is to resect the cancer in the colon or the rectum and follow by administering chemotherapy. Depending upon the response and spread, the tumor in the liver is next removed. In a study presented in March at the Society of Surgical Oncology, researchers examined the outcome for 610 patients who had undergone either simultaneous or separate surgeries. The researchers found that simultaneous surgery was as safe as the standard treatment among patients who required a minimal amount of liver to be removed. For those patients whose cancer was more extensive, separate surgeries remain the treatment of choice. About half of the patients were eligible for simultaneous surgery. According to a study by the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, obese males diagnosed with prostate cancer have more than two and a half times the risk of dying from the disease as compared to men of normal weight at the time of diagnosis. Researchers found that obese men diagnosed with local or regional disease, that is, disease that is confined to the prostate or has spread into surrounding tissue, face a 3.6-fold increased risk of cancer spreading into the distant organs, or metastasis, as compared to prostate cancer patients of normal weight. The association of obesity with disease progression was strongest among men with regional stage of diagnosis, whose cancer had already spread beyond the prostate, as compared to men with early localized disease. The mechanisms behind the link between obesity and prostate cancer metastasis and death are believed to involve both steroid hormones and inflammation. New findings by a Queen's University research team dispel the popular notion that eating so-called natural foods will protect against cancer. In fact, certain types of common foods and alcoholic beverages, such as wine, cheese, yogurt, and bread, contain trace amounts of carcinogens. Maintaining a balanced diet from a variety of sources, including garlic, is a better choice, researchers suggest. Led by Dr. Pogek Forkert of Queen's Department of Anatomy and Cell Biology, the team has discovered that a naturally occurring carcinogen found in alcoholic beverages and fermented food causes DNA modification and mutations, ultimately leading to abnormal cell growth and lung cancer. Her research also shows that a component of garlic significantly reduces these changes. Researchers are studying the effects of treatment with vinyl carbamate in mice. This substance is derived from ethyl carbamate urethane, a byproduct of fermentation found in alcoholic beverages and fermented foods like cheese, yogurt, and bread. It is also naturally present in tobacco. In these studies, mice were administered a single high dose of the carcinogenic chemical. Human exposure differs from that of mice in that it is much lower and occurs over a prolonged period of time. A question has been raised regarding the effect of those who ingest low levels of the chemical daily over many years and perhaps over a lifetime. Future studies may more effectively answer this question. That's all for this edition of Oncology Podcasting. This is Ellen Baker. Thanks for watching.